हाई एवरी वन आई एम शाहन लाइक वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डॉक्टर शाहन्स क्लास एंड हेयर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक विच प्रोबेबली यू हैव नॉट हार्ड दिस इज जूसकाज डिजीज नाउ वॉट इज दिस जूसकाज डिजीज आई विल टीच यू अबाउट दिस विथ पिक्चर ओरिजिनल पिक्चर आई विल शो यू शो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट प्रॉपरली and question also came from this topic juskas disease very very important in neat pg and also in case of all india pg when there was all india pg also then also this topic was asked so do not forget to watch this video completely and if you are new to my channel please i have a request please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notification of this channel okay now let's start so what is this juskas disease let us learn about the definition first okay now what is juskas disease juskas disease is sub areolar abscess juskas disease is nothing but sub areolar abscess what is areola you know the nipple and the blackish color around the nipple the black colorations or the brown pigmented area in the breast there is a black or the uh, brown big pigmented area in the breast that is the uh, that is known as the areola and below this areola below the areola you have a abscess below the areola when you develop an abscess below the pigmented area of the breast you get an abscess that is known as juskas disease so always remember this terminology which is associated with the juskas disease that is sub areolar abscess sub areolar abscess sub areolar abscess and it is known as sub cutaneous abscess of the breast because below the skin below the cutaneous portion below the skin you get the abscess so that is known as sub cutaneous abscess so always remember this two terminology one is sub areolar abscess below the areola you get the abscess that is sub areolar abscess another is sub cutaneous abscess below the below the skin you get the abscess that is subcutaneous abscess beneath the areola of the nipple so beneath the areola you will get an abscess that is the juskas disease and remember it is associated with squamous metaplasia squamous metaplasia of the lactiferous duct what is lactiferous duct the milk carrying duct okay that is known as the lactiferous duct and when there is squamous metaplasia of these lactiferous duct you actually get this abscess which is sub areolar abscess sub cutaneous abscess of the breast and it is known as juskas disease now why it is known as juskas disease because juska was a scientist who discovered it and that is why it is known as juskas disease now i will show you original picture because you need to understand it memorize it so you can see this this is the original picture of juskas disease you can see how the sub areolar abscess is there what is areola i told you the pigmented area of the breast that is the areola and below the nipple below the areola you get an abscess a certain kind of pass an infection so where is this infection it is situated below the areola and below the nipple you can get this infection known as juskas disease as juska discovered it another very important thing is the smoking pathophysiology now always remember smoking is associated with this disease and it is very very important because those women who smoke 
regularly they have a greater chance of having this kind of infection having this kind of abscess below the areola so sub areolar abscess may developed in the patients who smoke regularly generally the women who smoke regularly so very important is the smoking pathophysiology and question also came on this smoking pathophysiology that is very very important so always remember this one which is the juska's disease that is associated with smoking pathophysiology smoking pathophysiology smoking is related with juska's disease there was a option in the question which has smoking so you can see this is another picture also showing sub areolar abscess which is juska's disease remember this disease at least the name of the disease juska's disease which is nothing but sub areolar abscess only remember these lines which i am telling because these lines are asked directly in the mcq in neat pg and sometimes in other examination also so please subscribe this channel if you are new to my channel because this channel i discuss only those diseases which are repeatedly asked in neat pg fmg and other examination medical pg examination and also plab and usmle mrcp examination so if you are uh, if you are preparing for any of this examination or you are a medical student in first year second year third year fourth year whichever year you are or you are a any kind of medical related field you are a healthcare worker or you want to know about disease you are doing some research whatever it is please subscribe and write down in the comment section below and press the bell icon so that you can get all the update